Since we have to seven o'clock and it's only ten after six, I have fifty minutes. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of people may say, "What qualifies you to come talk about education?" I'm not an educator. Don't profess to be. But what I can tell you is this: I am a almost lifelong resident of Valdosta, Georgia. My family moved here in 1957. I attended Valdosta Public Schools. Had a wonderful education. In uh, 1968, when the issue of segregation came to the forefront, I attended an all-white school. I was in the first class to attend Pinevale High School, an all-black high school. And I gotta tell you, my first day of school there, I was scared to death. I didn't know what to expect. I knew only a few black people. One of them happened to be our maid. But what I found there is, after we all got over that initial, those initial fears, is that I made lots of black friends, lifelong black friends, that I still count today. I had a great education and, and, and graduated with honors from Ballaston High School. Love the Wildcats. My daughter graduated in 2010 from Ballaston High School. She was an honor graduate, president of her senior class, editor of the yearbook, and captain of the cheerleaders. She had a wonderful experience there. But that said, I gotta tell you, for a long time, a long time, I've been concerned about where are we headed in our schools. You know, in the sometime after that issue of segregation came about in the very late 60s, we started seeing some split, and white folks started moving out of the city limits of Alabama. When we hit a tipping point, it started happening in increasing numbers. Today, we look, Valdosta City Schools are substantially black with a few other minorities. The Lowndes County Public Schools are substantially white. When I say that, they each have about 85% of their majorities. And, you know, I don't know where you come from, or what you think, but I don't believe that's right. I think our kids need to be educated in an environment that mirrors the environment they're going to come into when they join the workforce. They need to learn how to get along together. We need to learn how to get along together. Today, our Valdosta City Schools and our county schools both perform at average or below, slightly below average in a state that ranks at almost a dead bottom when it comes to education. Amen. That's not good enough. Amen. A lot of people say, whoa, we're doing fine. Why do we need to change anything? Why do we need to change? And I've got to tell you, we, we need to look at that and decide what is best for our children. Workforce development. Throughout time as a business person, trying to find quality, educated people is tough. We need to improve the quality of people who come out of our schools. We've got to make that a community-wide effort that all of us come together to do. Taxes. I've heard a lot about taxes. And you know, what I hear is that, from the other side, that our taxes will go up because of school consolidation. But the facts just don't point to that. Generally what you would see is some blending of the cost. And if we do that and average it out, we're going to find that the, the two millage rates are going to probably come somewhere in the middle. It makes total sense. What I do know, though, is because of the changes that are going on in our, in our community, as we move 
forward as that we've seen white flight and middle class families, black and white, move out of the city is that the tax base has begun to erode. Since 1990, our millage rates inside the city's limits for city school taxes have gone up 35%. You factor it any way you want to. I know my business in 1990, or sorry, 2000, paid about $11,000 in property taxes last year, $66,000. There was some revaluation on the assets, but the millage rate makes a big difference. At some point, we'll just simply not be able to continue to fund where we go. It's going to happen. Now, both superintendents have said, we're not against consolidation, just not now. Not this way. We need a plan. Well, when are we going to develop a plan? i got to tell you, we will not develop a plan until we have to. It's either going to happen now because on November the 9th, the two sides will say, wow, we didn't think that was going to pass, and somehow it did, and they have to come together in a process that will allow a good plan. I believe, I believe that when pressed, that our two school boards will come together if, if this thing passes, and will develop an appropriate plan with input from all of our citizens from our business community, from educators, got to have them, from everybody. And I, I think that what we need to do is, irrespective of where you stand on the issue, is we need to come together. And my last talk thoughts are this. Right now, we have a divided community. It's not just divided racially between the two school systems. There is vehement, vehement opposition about making a change. I understand change scares people. A lot of people think they may lose a job, which will not happen. That will not happen, not according to state law. But they're scared. And so rather than have an intelligent discourse, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked by what I see. Now, i got to tell you, I have many, many friends in the city, school, city schools, and in the county schools. I, I dearly respect and like all of them. I think they do a great job as educators, doing the best they can with what they have to work with. But if we can develop one focus, come together as a community, all of us together, all pulling in the same direction. You know, the wagon gets in the ditch, you all got to pull in the same direction to get it out. And that's what we need to do. Pull together, come together as a community. No matter where you stand on this issue, we've got to work to improve the quality of education for all of our students. And I hope at the end of the day, that this dialogue, no matter how this vote comes out, that at the end of the day, we will begin to create a higher quality education for all of our students. Thank you. May God bless all of you.